What's up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Blade. Today we are back with another Dokkan battle video. Today, before we start the video, of course, hope you guys having a very good day today. And today we have your another mission completed in the books here for the Legendary Vegeta event. And today I was out on a personal mission to actually get this done without the new Super Vegeta, just in case you guys were not able to pull Super Vegeta. Um, because from what I saw here, a lot of people did have a lot of trouble actually pulling these characters, even big time whales or big time YouTubers, such as the Mass Ningen, uh, Toon Rami, uh, Tiger, Up I mean, Tiger Uppercut Media. Uh, they were having trouble. I believe they only have them at 55% until now. So, uh, again, uh, I decided to actually do this here without Super Vegeta. Uh, but also because of that, I did find here that when I actually did my first run with the Master Revolution, um, with Vegeta as a lead, um, mine's only at 55%, so when it came to the last stage of the event, um, I guess AGL Vegeta, it was actually very difficult because I was thinking like 100k before his super attack and before his defensive abilities, and then after all his passive is fully built up with defensively, um, I was thinking around like 60 to 70k da damage per normal, which was basically instant death here. Um, so I decided to go here with Angel Golden Frieza, and Angel Golden Frieza is phenomenal. He's crazy, he slept on, and honestly, I just, he's just one of my favorite Dokkan Fest characters because he does everything, right? Um, I think his only thing is that he doesn't have big bad bosses, but I mean, he stacks defense, he has damage reduction if your HP is below 50%. His active skill, you can use it whenever you want. He's stunned, he seals, he lowers attack. Like, this Frieza does everything, right? Um, so I actually decided to bring him as a double lead and also what's actually very good is his leader skill as well because Frieza as far as the key for the Otherworld Warriors and also the um, uh, What's the word what you call it here? Uh, Otherworld Warriors and also uh, the Resurrected Warriors he is providing here key plus four so again Frieza I mean is also providing extra key to everyone which is really good because key plus four is really good for characters like the S like the LR Vegeta here, for example. Uh, really not struggling to get a 12 key super or an 18 key super. Um, I also decided to bring here, of course, here, the, the Golden Freezes as well because they have damage reduction. Now, their main purpose is to make sure that we are gonna stack up our defense as much as possible with Golden Frieza. We're taking, um, I mean, we're not taking too much damage here. Uh, the reason why is because even though go a Golden Frieza here is stacking his defense. Uh, even when he's around like probably 250 to 300k of defense, the super attacks in this mode here are so deadly, and on top of that, they do lower defense as well. So I decided to actually, you know, put them in the front while we actually make sure that Frieza, at least if he's gonna take a super attack, at least he's gonna super attack first, which will cause him to raise his defense. Um, I also brought here also the uh, Majin Vegeta as well, the Dokkan Fest Tech Majin Vegeta. He is so underrated. He's actually aged very well in Dokkan. And the one thing I like about this Vegeta is that he's actually going to be super effective against all types throughout the entire event. Sorry, throughout the entire event. And the reason why is because you only need to give him three key spheres, right? Three key spheres, and he's super effective against all types. And then if you actually give him six key spheres, he has the guard ability, um, which is also very powerful. So when you are doing this team build, uh, or if you are going to use here the Majin Vegeta. You want to make sure that you actually transform him as soon as possible because that guard ability is just beautiful. It's 10 out of 10. And on top of that, he's going to be super effective against all types by just giving him three key spheres. So he's really, really good. And also because Frieza is providing key plus four to everyone, we can actually set up here six key spheres for Vegeta because it's actually not that difficult. Because most of the time, Frieza probably only needs your like one key sphere, right? Or even basically none if you have him linked up with another Frieza. Um, now I did try to do this, um, I actually tried to bring here Super Saiyan 3 Goku as well. The only problem with the EZA Super Saiyan 3 Goku is that he's actually going to be very good uh, against the last phase, but even after the Super Saiyan God Goku, I mean Vegeta here, the problem is the physical stage here, just before AGL Super, I mean um, Evolution Blue Vegeta. That stage is, is like a deadly stage, and that's one of the stages that actually caused me the most problems. Where I actually died most of the time here. Um, I've never really made it to the AGL stage until this very run. And once I actually got to the AGL stage, it was just an easy win here. Um, this these two stages here specifically was very difficult because for some reason this soup this Vegeta here uh, knows where to super attack, which was very, very annoying. So this is why I also brought here a double um, golden freezer just to eliminate that threat of being supered at the wrong time. Because at least they have damage reduction. 
Um, so I'm going to transform here with the Golden Frieza because also as well uh, with Golden Frieza, you want to make sure that you're not going to be staying too long in this event here um, before you enter the ADL stage because again, these super tags, they do hit incredibly hard. Um, now, as far as the Golden Frieza's for the damage reduction, uh, you are going to be okay against the last phase against um, the AGL Vegeta as long as you don't get supered by them. They can tank the super tag, but the issue is after the super tag because you are be taking a lot of damage. So as long as you put them, as long as you don't put them in, in harm's way, you're pretty much good to go. Um, and everyone else can actually tank a super attack here because again, Golden Frieza has been stacking his defense rapidly. And also brought here the EZA transforming Frieza. He is so good. Um, and really, don't even fear you have to actually. Oops, my camera died here. Are you kidding me? Let me actually just fix this up here. God damn it. Beautiful camera. <clears throat> okay, so here we are. We're back again. So, speaking of EJ transforming Frieza, uh, we actually get it on the same spot right here. Um, really, you only have to worry about is going to be this stage. Um, and also, of course, the next stage as well. But. Uh, again, Frieza, what's actually really good about transforming Frieza is that at the start of each turn, um, you are going to heal up 11% um, of HP. So this is why EZA transforming Frieza was actually really good. And on top of that, he also gives, gives himself key plus three when you are facing a super class enemy plus extra defense um, on super attack. So EZA transforming Frieza was a must run um, just because of the healing and also gets an extra key and defense. And also in this last phase, he does get extra, uh, sorry, he actually, actually gets here a guaranteed crit as well. So as long as we pass this stage right here and we don't get supered, we're pretty much good to go. Um, again, you could run here a double STR Vegeta. Uh, it's really not a problem, but you know, when you have him at 55%, it becomes very difficult when you are doing a no item run here. Um, but again, once I actually found out that I actually had to use here two Golden Freezes for damage reduction, it was pretty much pretty easy, I would say, right? This took me like two attempts for this team build, but the other team builds, listen, I was getting super unlucky with the super attacks and getting very, very annoyed here. So yeah, this is what I was talking about. Because Key is so good, we can actually set up here the Majin Fiji at the back for a um, a six key, sorry, giving him six key here. So he actually gets his uh, guard ability, right? So yeah, and there we go. We take care of... Vegeta, just like that, so freaking got Vegeta, and now we actually get to the hardest part of this event, in my opinion, when doing Master Evolution. This was the hardest part of the event here. Uh, the reason why is because we have three characters we have to worry about. We have to worry about LR, um, Super Saiyan 2, Angel, Vegeta. We have to worry about Easy Transforming Frieza, and we also have to worry about the Majin. Well, not really worry about, about them if we actually give them six key spheres, but. Our third possible one is going to be the Majin Vegeta here because the super attack in this event right here is disgusting. It's, it's so disgusting how much damage he does here. Um, but again, we are able to kind of succeed. So so there we go again. Um, easy A, Golden Frieza. I mean, I only have it at 50%, but I mean, you can have him fully rainbowed. Uh, it's completely fine. If you are going to be using here a double SCR Vegeta, then I probably would recommend you bring a ton of stacking units. But I was not too much in the business of staying too long with stacking because I didn't want to have this be like probably like 40 minutes, right? So, um, uh, again, you could bring here, of course, what's her face here? You could also bring here, um, I'm missing the character. Uh, you can also bring here the blue Goku, the physical one, because he actually stacks and is an orb changer. And the other unit you can also bring here as well is that you can also bring, um, whatchamacallit, the tech evolution blue or tech super saiyan blue. Um, Vegeta as well because he's also a rainbow orb changer and he also does stack defense as well and when you are getting the same type key spheres you are going to heal up very rapidly so again you do have some very good options um, if you don't have golden freeze and if you don't have of course here um, what's his face uh, the super Vegeta you could rock here a double uh, tech Majin Vegeta lead because he is the leader for Super Saiyan 2 slash resurrected warriors so you can definitely go that approach um, but I feel like because um, the only issue with that, you know, if you are doing a no item run is that um, the Majin Vegeta does not stack defense, right? So that's the only issue. Again, this freaking super attack is so deadly, but luckily we got very lucky that it's not the tech version. Um, at the very end, I actually got the super attack because if we actually get supered, even with Frieza's high defense, you are taking over 300k of damage, which is disgusting. 
Um, now, as far as the EZ transforming Frieza, you actually don't need to keep him on rotation. Uh, you just have to make sure that if you have him on rotation, you have to make sure that he actually gets a super attack because that's very important because it is going to allow him to stack his defense throughout the event. So, very important that you actually get that done here. Um, so yeah, so you can see here we're not in any danger. It's a very strong rotation. Our HP is looking very good. Um, Majin Vegeta at the back is able to get a uh, six key spheres for guardability. So again, it's pretty much good to go here, right? Again, if you are using this team build, this is going to be the most difficult part of the stage. Is this right here? Because um, again, you have three about three or two units you have to worry about being super. The rest, it's pretty much good, good to go. Um, so yeah, so there we go. Pretty simple. All right, we are taking here double digits, of course, and then here comes uh, Majin Vegeta being super effective. Uh, his attack is only 2.1, but again, he's super effective in all types, so we are doing a lot more damage um, than being shown here. All right, so then here we go again. Uh, we have to kind of like break our rotations just because, I mean, we could put Angel Vegeta at the back. It's not the end of the world, but I'm really worried about is a super attack, so... I make sure I actually go ahead and give all this here to Frieza. And again, you can see here we only need uh, four key spheres for um, Vegeta in the middle, but we are able to get an 18 key super. And on top of that, we are able to get here a super attack for EZA uh, Tech Golden Frieza. So, yeah, again, um, even at this point here, um, Frieza, after we super attack, does get about 80% on defense. So, pretty much Golden Frieza is really good, um, doing very good numbers here. Um, that was basically 4 million without any, we're only fierce battle activated, which again, really good. Um, I don't think he has prodigies. Do you have prodigies? You, actually he does, he actually has prodigies. So he actually has two links shared here, uh, with the Vegeta, uh, because he also has prodigies. So that's pretty good. All right. So there we go. And now we have nothing to worry about because we are, I mean, free that's taking like barely any damage on this Vegeta. And of course we get super, so that's one reason why I didn't want to put the uh, LR at the back is because it's super attack here. Um, and Vegeta loves to super attack for some reason um, throughout this event. So again, here we go. We actually have here a uh, pretty good rotation. Um, I decided to actually rotate off the EZA AGL Golden Frieza. And the reason why is because I am kind of scared here for the um, for, for what you call it, the super attack against the Evolution Blue Vegeta because again, he is going to nuke your defense, and the damage reduction is not be that effective after a super attack. So, uh, you want to be very, very careful um, when you are using the uh, damage reduction Golden Freezes. Alright, so there we go. And then we should probably get one more, uh, one more, whatchamacallit. One more turn with this physical Vegeta. Alright, and then there we go. Beautiful. Get out of my face. All right, and luckily we don't get supered here because that's the biggest issue. And then now we actually come here, get one more turn, which is fine. All right, there we go. And then I'm pretty sure I take out, yeah, I take out the LR Majin, I mean the LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta here. Now it's actually pretty crazy is that when you actually have these two linked up together, both the Vegetas, their attack and defense just go through the roof because they have so many links together. It's actually quite insane. Uh, I thought that we're actually able to get an AT key super again at the back. So yeah. So as long as Vegeta decides not to dodge these two attacks, we're pretty much good to go. Um, but so far we're not getting super. So we take care of you. Beautiful. All right, and then here comes the Majin Vegeta. Now at this point here, I only gave him two key spheres because that's all I can give him. So he's not super effective, but he does have enough here to actually. Uh, take out Vegeta. So now you can see we went from 2.1 to 2.7 being linked up with Angel Vegeta. So quite a huge difference in attack stat. Okay. And now here it comes to the easiest part here. We have so many tech units that I'm actually not even worried. Um, I checked our defense here, I believe. With the Angel Frieza. And we're basically over 500k of that of, de of defense. So now we can actually transform with him. And then uh, we pretty much are good to go. Um... And yeah, once we actually get to the AGL stage, it's actually the easiest one here. So, uh, again, the, the most difficult stages are going to be the physical and Super Saiyan God uh, Vegeta here. Those are going to be the, the two hardest events uh, or stages when you are doing um, this team build here. 
All right, so there we go. Now, even if we get super in the front defense, I mean, Frieza's defense is so high, it doesn't even matter here. All right, and this is where you also want to kind of keep or change the rotations, where you want to keep the transforming Frieza on rotation because this is where he's going to shine very well since he does get that extra 40% defense and we have type advantage as well. All right, so there we go. We get super. We take 100k, which is nothing. Oh, my God. All right, we are back there. So I do a small cut because I realized the view is actually longer than um, than um, it was actually shown here. So, um, so yeah, so once we actually make it to the AGL phase, like I said before, it's pretty simple. Uh, we really don't have to worry about anything that much. Um, we just have to make sure that we don't get supered on the AGL Easy Golden Frieza because, again, uh, Vegeta does nuke your defense uh, by 80%, so it's actually pretty scary. Um, so again, you want to try and make sure that you put, uh, sorry, that you actually put, um, uh, the, like, the characters like the AGO, Golden Frieza, uh, Easy A. You want to make sure that you put them out of harm's way as much as possible, so try and put them off rotation. Um, but again, the thing about that's actually very tricky is that sometimes, even though most attacks are going to be in the front, there are situations where... I was just facing where Vegeta is, is an attack like at the very end or in the middle spot when there's only one attack, which is like super annoying. But um, again, it, was, it, was, it wasn't that bad once I finally got the team building going. I had probably like three or four team builds. And then this was the, one, the game winner right here because again, um, because we have so many defensive units um, that were pretty much okay from a super attack. Because I kept getting my, I kept getting clapped here, my boys, on the uh, Super Saiyan God and also the... Um, physical Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta stage. Those two were just a menace because, I mean, I would almost make it to the very end, but then of course he would super attack the one, that one character that doesn't need to be super, right? And then it just lights up. So, or what would happen, right, is that actually, when I actually beat the physical stage, um, or, or even the Super Saiyan God stage, right? Uh, I would actually enter the next phase with the easy Golden Freezes without their damage reduction, and then that would get would get me killed because that last minute super attack always does, you know, does disgusting damage. So uh, it is what it is. But again, a Master Evolution not that difficult. Uh, again, Majin Vegeta really good. He is taking 45k. I was actually pretty shocked um, after him him being super, but. I guess he never had his guard ability because I'm not too sure if I gave him six key spheres, but he's really good. I really, I'm starting to like Majin Vegeta just because again he's super against all types. Um, if you give him three key spheres, and then also on top of that, um, if you give him six key spheres, and he has a guard ability. So, really good stuff. Um, I was gonna say uh, as far as the Master Evolution category, I am really excited. And hopefully in the future they're gonna add also the Master UI Goku as well as the um, Ultra Ego Vegeta from, of course, the Moral Arc. Um, sorry, not the Moral Arc. Sorry, but um, with Granola here. Sorry. And um, as far as free to play characters, I would definitely recommend if you are gonna be using um, Super Vegeta's leader skill. Then you probably want to go ahead and bring, of course, the Gohans, right? The ones I'm, I'm talking about is going to be the AGL LR Gohan if you have them. Or the free to play uh, Tech Gohan, which has damage reduction as well. I just decided not to bring those units just because... Um, well, I definitely brought here the AGL Gohan, but my um, Tech Gohan, he's only going to be at 55%. So I decided really not to bring it and I, and I don't want to be stacking for too long. So uh, I, again, I decided to go with this team build and also, again, to try and showcase that... You do not need the Super Vegeta to actually get this done here. Um, but again, Golden Frieza is just very underrated. Uh, this Vegeta is pretty good. As long as he double supers, you'll be taking double digits from normals. Um, he actually kind of surprised me how well he actually fit on the team. Uh, once I realized that we actually don't only need four keys first for him to super attack. So now we actually reach to the very end. We have here two tech units. We have Golden Frieza as well uh, with very high defense. Um, and we should be able to actually beat the event um, this turn right here because we also have six keysters at the end. Like I said before, it's actually very easy to set up six keysters for the Majin Vegeta at the back. So there we go, the Master Evolution. This was by far the most difficult or the most tricky, I would say, um, out of all the categories. I feel like the other rewards isn't so bad, but I mean, a lot of people seem to have a lot of difficulties. But this one here, I would say, was much more difficult than other world warriors because. The RNG was just so terrible for me during this uh, run here. Uh, we are getting super, which is fine. Because Frida did super attack first. And we take a whopping... How much damage do we take from this? We take here... 
Uh, almost 200k, which is fine, but I mean, it doesn't really matter because now uh, Vegeta is done, so, right? So, that's the video, my boys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, sub for more videos, comment down below. Let me know your team build, and guys, let me know if you guys found this difficult. Uh, so, we have three more teams, but I'm going to do a two for one, and then we'll just have your D powerful comeback, all right? So, hopefully, I see you guys on the next one. Peace!